Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden and today I want to take you along and plant some seeds together with you so for those of you that want to follow me we're going to go step by step and we're going to create a little hydroponic crafty system that's really simple, you don't need any power tools nothing like that this way it's nice and easy, very quick and anybody could do this so if you're interested in growing what I'm growing I'm going to put all the seeds that I'm using down below as well as all the details about what I'm using, all the items that you need and you'll be able to find all that information in the description so let's begin and we're actually going to be going week by week we'll do weekly updates for this so if you want to follow along and go step by step with me you'll have exact same success as I do if you follow these steps basically so let's see what we got. Let's go to our seed bank and first figure out what we're growing. We have a lot of beautiful seeds in here, a lot of good, good varieties. Some peppers, some tomatoes, even have a couple of microgreens in here. And I want to grow, I think, some lettuce seeds right now. So we're actually going to grow a nice little variety. I think we're going to grow right now 12 containers. That's what we're going to start with. So I want to do maybe three of each. So let's do three kales. We'll do three arugulas. We'll do some more little roses and some mixed greens. Actually, I already got a few little roses. So let's switch that and do spinach. So we're going to have four seeds that we're going to germinate. And all of these seeds are from Heirloom Organic Seeds. This is a uh, Mountain Valley. And these are all 100% organic USDA grown seeds. And a lot of these are actually very fresh. If you see, they're packed in 2017. So it's manufactured this year. And the seeds are very fresh. And you get quite a nice variety. Look at this. For example, this little Rosa. You get 1,200 seeds in this one little packet, and it's only about 249, so not bad at all. So that's we can move our seed bank. We don't need that anymore. And what we next thing you need is basically a few items to create the crafty system. The main item you need is your reservoir. We're going to be using a one quart mason jar. This is a wide mouth mason jar that fits perfectly these little three inch net cups. As you see here, we have 12 of them, so we could just put that in. And as you see, I don't want to use anything with power tools. I want it to be nice and quick. These fit in perfectly, as well as it's we're growing it in glass. So for those of you that are concerned, like me, using plastic in your food, unless it's food grade plastic, I definitely don't recommend using anything other than that. Glass is definitely the next best thing and it works very well as you see these things fit excellent and if you even want you could put the cover and twist it on this way the, the net cup stays in place and it won't move at all and if you look you have basically just over where is it just over 600 milliliters right there so that's not bad at all and this container it's a one like I mentioned it's a one core jar is perfect for lettuces lettuce grows basically in approximately 30 days to 45 days and this jar basically will have everything it needs for the life of the lettuce you won't need to refill it so once we have our initial fill we won't need to fill it up again and the lettuce will grow nice and big the only thing you need to provide is some lights either artificial lights like i am i'm growing indoors or you could use a little outdoor section if you're growing outdoors and just use natural light from the sun and that'll grow excellent as well you can't beat the sun i think that's the best light source you could possibly get so now that we have our net cups inside the next thing that we want to do is basically take our water we're just using a regular ph balanced water this is a 6.5 balanced ph and this is a just a one gallon jar that I have 
just sitting there for several hours. It was there just on the side for about, I think, four to five hours after I initially poured it in. This And I left it open. This way, it, most of the chlorine gets evaporated, or as much as possible. And how you know how much you want to fill in, in the jar, basically, is when you're filling it up, you want to put it just over the net cup, right at the bottom, about an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch is perfect. This way it has some nice moisture that's able to wick up back to the plant and the roots could develop and begin to grow downwards and into the jar basically. So you want to fill it in. Let's do that together. And you base the nice thing about this being that it's a clear jar at the moment, you're able to see exactly how much water you're pouring in and where when to stop. So as you see right there, if I lift it up, you're able to see it's dry and then it gets submerged. So it's right in the water. And let me show you from below. As you see, about a quarter of an inch, eighth of an inch. And that's exactly what you want to do. So we're going to do that for all of these and we'll come right back. Welcome back everyone. And as you see here, we filled up all the jars. They've all been filled with to the exact same level and it took basically two gallons of water to fill up 12 jars here. So one gallon is able to fill six quart sized jars using a three inch net cup. In case you're, you're interested and you wanted to grow this yourself and you want to know exactly how much water it takes, you need two gallons. And the next thing you're going to need is basically two grow medias. We're using hydroponic clay pebbles as well as cocoa core. Now, you don't want to simply just use cocoa core because if you put it in a net cup, it has all these slits and holes and it's going to just simply fall through and go into the into your reservoir here and that's going to change the pH of the water as well as the nutrients in there. And you don't want that, so a nice simple way to do that would be to take some hydroponic clay pebbles and just put it into your, your clay pot. And as you see here, about half the net cup is filled, and that's just about how much you want. Just enough to really keep all the, the holes covered up on the bottom, as well as hold up all the cocoa core. So we're gonna do the same thing for all of them. And we'll come back as soon as that's done. And this way you fill up all the gaps and f fill in all the spaces between the rock wool. I'm sorry, not the rock wool, between the cocoa core, I mean, and the uh, cocoa core. Hey everyone, welcome back. And as you see, we filled up all our jars here using the hydroponic clay pebbles halfway. And now the next step is to use your second grow media, which is the cocoa core, make sure it's nice and moist. If it's dry, add some water to it before adding it in. And this way it's nice and ready for when you, for your seeds when you want to germinate. So you want to put it in and just loosely pack it down. You don't need to push too hard, just nice and easy. Make sure everything's nice and firm. And this way it fills in all the spaces and all the gaps between the two grow medias and it's nice and filled. The, this way now the seed has a nice little home to go into and now this is what you want to do for all of the jars here. Now I'm not gonna take you through all that but we could do one more. And remember you put it in, each time you put it in push it down a tiny bit and put a little more. Don't worry if it gets a little bit messy. We could always clean up afterwards. And that's the fun part about gardening. You're going to get your hands dirty. So we're going to do that for all of the jars here. And I'm going to basically take you on to the next step and we'll do that. So we'll be right back. Welcome back everyone. As you see we finished filling up the, our containers. Now we have our 12 jars nice and ready. And this is basically going to be the home of the Kratky system for the time being. 
Now, remember I mentioned earlier, I filled these jars up using only water. So there's no hydroponic fertilizer needed at this point. When the seeds are germinating, you don't need to add anything additional to the water. Water is just fine. The seed actually contains everything it needs for it to grow and get nice and big for you as until it begins to at least put on its first sets of true leaves. Let me show you what example that would be. So this is a little pepper plant. So as you see when it starts, it has these two leaves right here. And then those are the little starter baby leaves. And then the next set is the true leaves. And that's actually what all the, the pepper leaves are going to look like. That's just a little two small little leaves right there. And at this point, when it starts to put on its true sets of leaves, you're able to add a tiny bit of hydroponic fertilizer. You don't want to add a full amount because that's going to damage the root system. And let me just show you real quick. You could see nice little roots developed at the bottom of this little cup. So I always just bottom feed, I pour it there and let it germinate. So these are just two different methods of germinating. You could either put it in a little small cup or you could put a nice little large cup. The difference is this one I have to come in and water every other day or so. And in these containers, as soon as we put the seeds in, that's all you're gonna have to do, basically. So once, once they germinate and they put on their set, first sets of true leaves, you're able to add some hydroponic fertilizer. And I usually add about a quarter strength, maximum a half strength, nothing stronger than that. And the way you mix that up is basically, let's say you have a gallon of mixture of hydroponic fertilizer. We're gonna be using the same thing for all of these lettuce greens here. It's gonna be Master Blend, 41838, two grams, calcium nitrate, two grams, and Epsom salt, it's gonna be one gram. And the way you wanna dilute that is if you have a gallon of mixture, you could take another gallon of water and just mix that together. And now you have a half a strength of two gallons of hydroponic fertilizer. And if you want to dilute that again, do it again, mix another two gallons, and now you have a quarter strength, basically. So now we're going to germinate all our seeds. The easiest way to do that is use your finger. Just come in and poke a tiny little hole. It doesn't have to be deep at all. About a eighth of an inch, quarter inch. Because once the seed germinates, it's going to basically come in and begin to grow. And come in. So make our little holes real quick everywhere and then we'll put our seeds and the nice thing about this is being that we're growing several plants at once we're going to be able to have a little succession planting and we're able to come in and harvest from one plant while the other two grow and then you, you could put that one on the side in the back and then harvest the second one while the first one continues to regrow and then you could harvest the third one and vice versa. So now we could take our seeds. We have spinach right here, as I mentioned, from Valley Seeds. I'm gonna put all the links for everything that was used here down below. And the seeds are pretty small for the lettuce here. So we're just gonna, I'm gonna take a few seeds right here. Now I usually have really good germination rates, so I'm only gonna put one seed in each pod here but I think if you're first starting up the first time just to guarantee success I would put two three seeds in each one and then mix it up I mean I'm sorry and then thin it out that's basically just coming in and pulling out the small ones and when you pull it out you could either transplant it into a new jar or you could simply just throw it away you get a lot of seeds for here as you see here Look at this, 900 seeds. And this is a little gourmet lettuce. And look how small these things are. So same thing. We're going to put just one seed in each. Actually, for lettuce, maybe we'll put two. This way, when one, one gets big, I could harvest one plant completely. And then I'll have the second one growing. This way it doesn't take it back too far. And then this is nice arugula. 
Now all of these taste very different and it's nice having a good variety of mix sure here because when you're growing food and you're eating constantly the same thing you're always getting the same type of nutrients and micronutrients from the plants now each green plant and or each plant in general has different nutrients as well as micronutrients that's good for your body so it's always good having a nice little variety I think and as you see we have basically 12 plants that doesn't really take up much space at all the little container that the jars came in I'm actually keeping it in just because it keeps it together nice and easy and you're able to grow a lot of food in a really small space and the last we have kale also really small look at this 600 seeds so I mean you get a for a little ten dollars or twelve dollars or whatever it is for these seeds you get a whole ton of seeds basically for a very long time and I don't think after you buy this one time I don't think you're gonna be buying seeds for a very very long time so now that that's all done you just come in and simply pinch everything closed and as you pinch it closed you wanna simply just give it a little tap down this way the cocoa core makes contact with the seed and everything is nice and covered the seeds always need to be covered in the, to be in the dark to germinate or else they're not gonna come up and they don't need to be buried too deep these are really small seeds when you have bigger seeds the bigger the seed gets the, the deeper it needs to get so now that that's all done just give everything a nice little tap and the final step that I like to do is I have a little mixture that I made here it's just hydrogen peroxide I literally just used the capful right here and I mixed it with a bottle of water just regular pH bottled water and I just transfer it to a little mister here and I like to spray it it works really well for when you're germinating seeds to give it a tiny bit of a boost as well as in case there's any bacteria or germs anywhere it'll definitely kill anything but I find when I when I spray this and I use it as you see I only put two three sprays everywhere it really made a big difference and my seeds would germinate a lot quicker most of my lettuce seeds will come up in about two three days maximum and for something like a pepper plant that usually takes about a week so it's not too bad and I found when I don't spray it it usually takes about four to five days to germinate lettuce and a pepper plant could take up to a week to two weeks to germinate so with just a few little sprays of a tiny bit of hydrogen peroxide a little capful mixed with a bottle of water that's all you really need in a tiny mister so now our, our jars are done the last step you want to do is you want to label everything this way you remember what's what and we're gonna do that and basically just we're gonna be done now don't forget to also at once you put it in you want to basically keep this in the dark it doesn't need to be in the lights when seeds are germinating they could germinate in the dark and then once they pop up at that point that's when they need the light because the longer you wait the more stretchy they're gonna get and that's basically called leggy let me show you an example of what that is as you see here these are little radish plants a couple of them got a little bit too tall because I had this container down on the ground earlier and it needed to be higher up so I brought it up lifted it up now it's right underneath the light and a good rule of thumb is you want to keep it approximately two to three inches away from the light anything higher than that it's gonna lose the the warmthness of the light as well as the the concentration of the energy that's being pushed into the plant and it's gonna get real stretchy and it's not gonna be as a hardy and strong of a plant I think so now that this is done all we're gonna do is put this in our little germination area that we keep in the dark we have three cucumber seeds that are being germinated right right now these are English English cucumbers I believe 
They're going to be nice and big. I think it's like a 6 to 12 inch fruit. Really delicious. And that's it. So this is basically the first episode of how to make hydroponic Kratky system as well as how to germinate a nice little herbal garden for yourself. So now that that's done, don't forget if you have any questions, we spoke about a lot today, leave them down below. I'll do my best to answer everything. And if you have a suggestion about what you'd like for me to maybe try or like to grow, leave it down below. I'll also do my best to answer. And hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.